welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Jamal Charlo says Canelo Alvarez wants no smoke. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And you've seen Jamal Charlo recently come out and stated that he wants to fight Canelo Alvarez, but Canelo Alvarez simply does not want to fight. He does not want to smoke. Now, you know, from Jamal Charlo, if you believe this, you have to be the biggest dumbass on the face of the earth to believe anything Jamal Charlo is saying about Canelo Alvarez not wanting to fight. I mean, let's be honest and unbiased. Jamal Charlo was offered the Canelo Alvarez fight back in 2019, and he turned it down. A lot of people say that Canelo Alvarez had Jamal Charlo as a mandatory when that fight was never mandated. And after the fact, Canelo Alvarez offered this man the fight in 2019, and Jamal Charlo turned the fight down. No one holds this man to that standard. So why would Canelo Alvarez be running from a guy he offered the fight to? Make it make sense. Not only that, you know, we've seen Canelo Alvarez trainer and manager Eddie Reynoso list Jamal Charlo as one of the four options for Canelo Alvarez in his next fight in 2022 outside of the Macaboo fight. So should Canelo Alvarez get past Macaboo, everything goes smooth. Jamal Charlo is on that list to potentially get knocked off. Dimitri Bavol, Archer Better BF, David Benavides, and Jamal Charlo are all names that are potential Canelo Alvarez opponents for 2022 after a potential Macabu fight. So this guy is on the hit list. He can get the smoke. But the reason why he's even mentioning this, the reason why he's even talking about this, the reason why he's He's even mentioning Canelo Alvarez's name because he only cares about a Canelo Alvarez stimulus check. These people only want money. They want to get the most amount of money they can get, and that's Canelo Alvarez. These guys simply want a payday. I mean, look at Jamal Charlo. He won't do anything to risk that payday. He's openly ducking and avoiding David Benavides and Demetrius Andre. Demetrius Andre would be a unification fight in his own division. He's ducking that fight. He's ducking a David Benavides. And I mind you that Jamal Charlo called out David Benavides, and yet he's still ducking him. Make it make sense. This guy's garbage truck juice. I mean, it's disgusting when you look at it at the end of the day. Jamal Charlo's only mentioning Canelo Alvarez's name because he simply wants to be next in line for that Canelo Alvarez stimulus package. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.